Sixth grade, module six, lesson three, problem set. The data below are the number of goals scored by a professional indoor soccer team over its last 23 games. Make a dot plot of the number of goals scored. Okay, so I'm gonna do that over here. Draw a line. And we're gonna have number of goals scored. So I'll label this down here. Number of goals scored. And then I'll put a title at the end once I see how high it goes. So let's see what our lowest is. So right now the lowest number of goals I see is eight. I don't think see anything lower than eight. And the highest I see is maybe 16. Yeah, I don't think anything higher than 16. So I'm gonna make our range from eight to 16. So the middle of that would be about 12. Fill in the other numbers. And then we can start plotting. Okay, so we have 8, 16, 10. Nine, eleven, eleven. Ten, fifteen, sixteen. Eleven, fifteen, thirteen. Eight, nine, eleven, nine. Eight, eleven, sixteen, fifteen. And ten, nine, twelve. Okay, so there's our date dot plot. So let's say dot plot of number of soccer goals. And let's see, so we did A. What number of goals describes the center of the data? So if we're gonna look at the center of the data, the center of the data I would say is probably around like 11, maybe 12, I'm gonna say 11, because most of the dots are kind of centered around 11. What is the least and most number of goals scored by the team? So the least was eight and the most was 16. D, over the 23 games played, the team lost 10 games. Circle the dot plots on the plot that you think represent the games that the team lost. Explain your answer. So, if they lose a game, that probably means that they didn't score enough points. So, I would pick for the ones that they lost, maybe there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, maybe they lost those games. Right, you think the fewer goals you score, the more likely that you lost. So explain your answer. Um, let's say... The fewer goals scored... The more likely it is... That they lost. Number two, a sixth grader rolled two number cubes 21 times. The student found the sum 
of the two numbers that he rolled each time. The following are the sums for the 21 rolls of the two number cubes. Complete the frequency table. So let's complete the frequency table first, and then we'll answer some questions about it. So we have 9, 2, 4, 6. So put a tally for all 9, 2, 4, and 6, and then I'll keep going. 5, 7, 8, 11. 9, 4, 6, 5. So there's already a tally on 9, so I'm just going to add another one. 9, 4, 6, 5. 7, 7, 8, 8. So two more 7s. Two more 8s. Seven, five, seven, seven, five, seven, and then two sixes. Okay, so let's add up the frequencies. So there was only one, two, no threes. Two, three, four, five, three, two, zero, one, zero. Okay, what sum describes the center of the data? So what would be the center of the data? I would say the center is probably around seven. So let's say the center is around seven. C, what sum occurred most often for these 21 rolls of the number cubes? So the one that had the highest frequency or occurred the most often was also seven. It had five and the next closest was four. Number three, the dot plot below shows the number of raisins in 25 small boxes of raisins. Complete the frequency table. So for 46 raisins, so we're just going to look at the dot plot and transfer the data onto the frequency table. So for 46 raisins, right here there was only one. For 47, there were zero. 48, there were four. Oops. That stays blank. 49, there were three. For 50, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For 51, we have four. 52 has two. 53 has 1, 54 has 2. Oops, I did that backwards. All right, B, another student opened up a box of raisins and reported that it had 63 raisins. Do you think that this student had the same box size box of raisins? Why or why not? So if they had 63, and the highest number, the center of this data is mostly around, let's say 50 is the most common. So 63 is quite a bit more than 50. And the highest number we even got was 54. So 63 is quite a few more than 54. So I would say they didn't have the same size box and that they either counted too high or they had a different size box. So, I think they had a different size box. Because the most in all of these boxes was 54 raisins and 63 is quite a bit higher than that.